So let me just ask you a couple more questions. One would be about organic. So you said you're not certified organic, but mm -hmm. you it sounds like you're implementing a lot of organic techniques. Are yeah, you, I adhere to those adhere to those practices. Mm -hmm. Did you want to ask? Well, I was just going to say, do, so are you effectively organic? Like, do you you just don't want to bother with the certification, or is there something in the rules for organic that you don't like and you don't follow? Yeah, um, well, the organic certification is, uh, I think in New York, is around $800, oh, which is okay. money I don't have. Mm -hmm. um, it's also uh, federally controlled hmm. and mandated, and you have a lot of big companies lobbying for GMOs to be included in organic. Right. Um, organic also limits what you can plant. Mm -hmm. Certain varieties I like to grow aren't available organically because they're still hybrids. The genetics haven't been stabilized, or you just can't get them. Mm -hmm. uh, a, lot, a lot of hybrid crops you can't get organically, hmm. even though they're the most popular variety. So it limits you. Um, it's financially, you know, constricting in that regard. Right. And you know, it's it's uh, you know, people rebelled against it once uh, the government took over it. But um, can't you federally. sell them for more? Um, I mean, you can, but it's more important. We tell people that basically we're organic about the certification. We encourage people to come to the farm, see for yourself, see what we do. We're very yeah. open about where our seeds come from. I buy certified organic seed wherever mm. possible, like mm. my potato seed, for example. Was, I spent the extra money on certified organic mm. potato seed. It was, there, there's no, no comparison. It's either 20 bucks for a 50 pound bag or 70 bucks for a 50 pound bag yeah. of potato seed. And I paid the extra money because mm. I don't want to be putting any potential chemicals in my soil. Um, and that's how I'm very upfront about that, and I tell people, look, here's the receipts, here's what I put in, because I believe in this, and so this is what I have to ask for it. But it's not its not totally just about getting a higher price for it. There's other certifications out there, like Certified Naturally Grown, for example, is basically organic. Yeah. its uh, It was made in response to the government takeover of the organic label, and it's really cool how it's a, a peer-reviewed process. Some mm. A farmer who's Certified Naturally Grown comes to your farm, talks to you about what your plans are for healthy soil, for crop rotation, what you're doing, and basically that farmer then certifies you, and then you can go certify someone else. Hmm. So like I want... citizen certification. Exactly. That's it's, cool. it's, you know, or, organic is good if you're just shopping in the store, if you don't have access to go to a farm, because mm -hmm. then at least hopefully you know that there's no GMOs in it or anything, mm -hmm. but organic isn't, isn't either a, isn't also a blanket, um, a blanket cure for uh, having access or knowing that the food is good because there is hundreds of organically certified chemicals yeah, or pesticides. Right, right.